Action Vite. The story I heard. The cost of the Falcon's operation came... Since she is responsible in the final analysis for the conduct of her government, that uh, she should be considering an early resignation. With regard to resi resignation, no. Now is the time to strengthen and resolution. We are interrupting this program to make a special announcement. At four o'clock this morning, British Standard Time, Britain's Premier, Margaret Thatcher, called an emergency summit meeting with the Foreign Secretary, Lord Carrington, in the Royal Room of 10 Downing Street. A five o'clock deadline had been set to find a solution to the increasingly tense situation in the Parliament. Mrs Thatcher was said to be moist with anticipation as Lord Carrington entered the door, nervously holding the door. The eyes of the nation were on Mrs Thatcher as she confidently slipped her hand into her brief. She knew that the little red button, now at her fingertips, could unleash an orgy of physical combat. As she commanded Lord Carrington to make an entry, she knew that she would soon feel the weight of power on her shoulders. She had always covered up in the past, but the imminent possibility of close combat obliged her to reveal all. After running through the usual preliminaries, Lord Carrington felt abreast of the situation, and Mrs Thatcher was delighted to show him the little red button and demonstrate its uses. Most notably, its connection to the hotline receiver. To enable him to get on top of the job, Lord Carrington was ordered to get seriously stuck in, and at all costs, because of the gravity of the situation, to avoid simply running through the motions. Nervously, he touched the little red button, but, as Mrs Thatcher excitedly pushed it towards him, his finger slipped, and he missed the mark, leaving the Premier feeling well round all. However, not to be frustrated by the weakness of others, Mrs Thatcher determined to finish the job herself, and, having dismissed the unfortunate moment, grabbed the hotline telephone and put the receiver to its devilish work. Within seconds, the hotline was a frenzy of activity. After years of anticipation, Mrs. Thatcher's forces were heading towards a climax, sliding apprehensively towards endless oceans, an unstoppable power breaking through the briny. This was her finest moment, and at its peak, she cried, England expects every man to do his best. I know nothing of say We are going to win.
Dead Pip! Snot! You fuck!